In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do the initial configuration of an ESXi host right after you install ESXi on a server. So if you can see here, I'm at the DCUI screen which is Direct Console User Interface. So you can see that I've installed ESXi 5.5 and currently the IP address is not set and it says that the DHCP lookup failed. So if you would like to customize the host, you have to press F2 and you have to type in the login name as root and the password that you specified during the setup of ESXi 5.5. Now press enter. The first thing that we are going to do is we'll configure the password. If you would like to set up a new password, you can come here and set up a new password. So I'm going to type my password for this host. Next thing, you're going to configure the management network. Management network is very important because uh, if you would like to access the ESXi host from vSphere client or from vCenter server or even from PuTTY, you need to configure the management network. So without it, you'll not be able to access the ESXi host over the network. So we'll select configure management network and press enter. So the first option is network adapters. From this list, you're going to select how many network adapters will be used for this host's management network. Now, you can use one physical NIC or two physical NIC to provide load balancing and fault tolerance. So, in my case, I'm going to use two physical NICs from this host for management network. So I've selected VMNIC 0 and VMNIC 1 and I'll press enter. Now if you have set VLAN for management network you can specify here but in my case I don't have any VLAN in my network so I'm going to skip this. The next thing is IP configuration. So here you can either get your IP configuration from a DHCP server or you can statically assign an IP address. In my case, I'm going to set up a static IP address. So the IP address for this host would be 192.168.10.21 and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and the default gateway is 192.168.10.254. So I'm going to press enter. Now, if you're using IPv6 in your network, you can enable it and configure an IPv6 address. But in my case, I don't have IPv6, so I'm going to disable this. And I'll press Enter. Now, the next thing that you need to do is you need to set up the DNS configuration. So you'll select DNS configuration and press Enter. So you can specify the primary DNS server in my case, that would be 192.168.10.1 and the alternate DNS server. Since I don't have an alternate DNS server, I'm going to skip this and I'll specify the host name for this ESXi server. So that would be ESXi 5A. I'm also going to specify the fully qualified domain name for this host, which would be .contoso.com. So I'm going to press enter. Now if you have any custom DNS suffixes, you can specify it here. I already specified the one in DNS configuration, so I'm going to skip custom DNS suffixes and I'll press escape. Now to apply the changes, you have to press Y and reboot the host. Alright, the host is back up and you can see the host name and the IP address that we configured for this host. So you still have some more options to configure for the CSXI host from DCUI. So I'm going to log back in. 
Now if you run into any problems with the host network, you can always come back here and restart the management network. And to test the management network that we have configured, we can come here and select test management network. So it's going to ping the gateway and the DNS and the host name. So I'm going to press enter. It is very important that you test the management network before you add the host into the vCenter server or access the host from the network. So you can see here that we can ping the gateway, the DNS, and we can also resolve the host name, which is good. And if you would like to restore the network settings of this host, you can select Network Restore Options, and you can come here, you can restore the network settings to default or even the standard switch or the distributed switch settings to the default. You can configure the keyboard layout. In my case I've selected US default. And you can also configure the troubleshooting options. You can enable the ESXi shell if you would like to configure something on the command line. Or you can enable SSH. Again, it'll be used for same purpose to do some command line configuration of the host using PuTTY or something. And you can also modify the ESXi shell access and specify the SSH timeouts. And again, if you run into any problems on the host, you can always come back here and restart the management agents. If you would like to view the system logs, you can come here and you can see the logs of the ESXi host such as syslog, VM kernel, config logs, management agent logs, virtual center agent logs, and also VMware ESXi observation logs. And if you would like to look at the license information or the SSL certificate information, you can select view support information. And if you would like to reset the whole system configuration of the host, you can come here and select this option. So this is how you, you can configure an ESXi host using DCUI. Like I said, it is very important that you configure your ESXi host using DCUI right after you install ESXi on a server. Thanks for watching this video. For more videos, please subscribe to my channel.